2019 is going to be a new me. I feel like I've kind of edited myself to a degree on my channel to be family friendly, but I don't think any little kids are watching. Um, I just, I feel like sometimes I hold back and my true personality doesn't come out in the way I would like it to because I'm like, oh, is this going to get flagged on YouTube or whatever, but I don't think anybody cares. What's up lovelies? It's your girl RJ. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, hi, hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Now if you have been here before but have not yet smashed that red button below, definitely make sure to hit it. Also make sure to click that notification bell because we are sporadically uploading in this mug. So if you want to keep up and not miss any of this awesome content, uh, you'll definitely want to hit that notification bell. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm sure you saw the description in the link before you clicked it, so you know we are unboxing not one, but two Beautylish Lucky Bags. Uh, I have not only the regular Lucky Bag, but also the Jeffree Star Lucky Bag. Now, initially, I planned on just buying the extra large bag, um, but unfortunately, I logged in and plenty of time added it to my cart. When I went to check out, um, my address was incorrect. I hadn't updated it since I had moved, went to change it, and by the time I clicked um, check out, it was sold out. So because I had allocated the funds for two, I decided to buy um, the regular bag and then also get the Jeffree Star bag. Now, if you're familiar with Lucky Bag or Beautylish more or less and their policies, you can only get one per address. Fortunately, my daughter's best friend lives in our neighborhood, so I just ordered the second one to her and that allowed them to both be delivered by UPS today, so we're going to go ahead and crack on into them. Um, they're both still completely sealed. I literally um, knew they were coming today, so I was semi-ready, um, went and picked up mine, hers got delivered down the street, went and picked up that one, uh, I shouldn't say hers, they're both still mine, um, and have them, so this is the Jeffree Star one, um, it's a much bigger box, but it doesn't actually say Beautylish on the outside of it, and then this is my actual regular size lucky bag for anybody that wants to know, um, it's a two pound label on this one and three pounds on his, um, all right, I've got my scissors. Let's go ahead and open the first one up. I'm actually going to set this one down on the floor. Okay, so while I open this up, I just want to quickly tell you my wish list of items. I'm really hoping for the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Um, I know not a lot of regular size bags are going to get that, but that would just be amazing. Anything by Hourglass, I think, except for the primer. And then, of course, just no dupes of anything I already have. So here's the inside of the box. We see the cute paper. I actually still have mine from my box last year. Uh, mine was packaged by Debbie in San Francisco. So, Debbie, I hope you didn't do me dirty, and I got some good stuff. So, like everyone's tissue on the top, all my stuff seems to be in this little one right here, so definitely no Natasha Denona palette. Just going to double check, but yeah, I can tell because I've watched just enough to know that it would be wrapped separately. So here's everything in mine. So the one thing that everybody got, and I have a bag that I've probably seen a lot of people get, so this is kind of like... I don't know, a standard large bag, I guess. But first up is the Coming Soon Good Molecules. I got the Super Peptide Serum, which is formulated with tripeptides to target fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. And I actually wanted this one because I feel like that's the most appropriate for my skin type and would be awesome to get. So there's that. I'm going to go through this pretty quick. Um, next up is the Pharmacy, which I actually really like this brand. This is the Clean B ultra gentle facial cleanser. Um, I have not used this, but I've used other things from them. I do really like the brand. So, and I like cleansers. Um, who doesn't like to wash their face, right? So I am happy with that. It's a good size container. Perfect. Next up, we have a Jouer uh, High Pigment Lip Gloss with Coconut Oil in the shade Fifth Ave. Not sure if this is one I have. I do have several. But it sounds familiar. Yeah, I believe I have this one already. I'm not going to swatch it because I think I do, but I'm not sure where all my Jouer lip glosses are. Actually, hold on, let me check. Okay, so yep, I do have it. I thought so. The name sounded familiar, which is fine. That just makes more stuff to go in that 8K Instagram giveaway I'm planning. 
Here's a swatch of it. I love this color. So if I didn't already have it, I still would have been super excited. Next, we got a Glitter and Glow Stila Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Dollish. I may have this as well. I just bought a little set of them. Maybe not. Oh, no, I don't have this one. Yay, I'm glad. This is really pretty. So here it is here. I just have, um, I have the ones that are like less glittery. I don't know what those are called not glistening glow maybe they're still glistening glow I don't know but that's really pretty that would look good for the eye look I have going today awesome so that's a new to me so two more things left and I'm super excited about this one because the one thing I of course wanted a Wayne Goss brush um, or really any of them that they had but I didn't want that little fan brush that a lot of people were getting and I didn't I got the number 11 this is probably like a face brush. I will use this either for um, setting my under eyes, maybe for uh, highlight. Oh, it's so soft. It may even be big enough for contour. This is the brush I got last year, the number 17. So, and I'll put prices below of all these things, but I know this bad baby costs quite a bit. And now our very last item. I can tell by looking at it that it looks to be some sort of Viseart palette. I can tell it's not one I already have, so that is awesome. This is the ooh, Golden Hour. Here it is here. Looks like it has nine shades in it. I do have two Viseart palettes, but they are not this one. I have the little petite one, and then I got one last year um, in my Beautylish bag that I actually am wearing today. So here's the outside, and then I like the packaging too, it feels really nice. And then there is the inside, those colors are gorgeous. And those are like right up my aisle, my aisle, my alley, um, because it's got purples, blues, oranges, a nice red, which I've been looking to get. So yeah, I'm super excited with everything I got. Um, it wasn't anything other than like the Wayne Goss brush that was on my wish list. Um, but other than the Jouer um, lip gloss, it's all new to me items, and I'm super happy with everything. All right, and next up is our Jeffree Star Beautylish bag. I'm going to go ahead and cut into this one. Um, I've seen a lot of unbox. well, I've seen some unboxings for this. I don't know if this one didn't sell as well. I don't know if people were still, like, upset from the um, Jeffree Star mystery bag debacle um, and didn't want to purchase. Um, I do know that there's pretty much guaranteed a palette in one of these. I do not have any um, of his eyeshadow palettes, so any one that I get I am super okay with. So here's the box. Same wrapping paper. Okay. Taking out all the wrapping. I feel like mine aren't as tightly wrapped. So here's the main one. I'm a little disappointed, I'm not going to lie. Um, I really wanted a mirror, but everyone is getting, I'm just going to start with this, because I've watched enough of these to know that everybody's getting the creamsicle mirror, and I wanted a star mirror. I didn't care what color, but that's what I wanted. It's like the one thing that I keep like going to buy, but I don't really need it. So if I would have got it in the Lucky Bag, that would have been cool. Um, but yeah, it's the same one that everyone got, which is this like creamsicle one. I mean, it's a nice mirror. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that I would have used it anyway. It would have been more of a display piece. So I'll probably just break down and get the black one that I've been eyeing. So let's get into the girth of it. We're unfolding it. Ooh. Okay. So um, <laughs> I knew that this was coming in with everyone else's. I was actually thinking, oh, it'd be good to get one of each, um, but I didn't. I got the same one again. I guess they really knew I needed to work on those wrinkles. Go ahead and get into the items. Everything is bubble wrapped. Is a Supreme Frost. And I do have some of his like regular highlighters. I have the palette, um, but I don't have any of the Supreme Frost. So, ooh, it's a really pretty color. Um, there it is there. Do a little swatch. I have a couple of no, I have the the big pans. I have the one that's the Manny MUA collab, and then that green one that I got in my mystery bag. 
Next up, I was actually hoping to get one of these as well. It's a, ooh, it's a lip scrub in the flavor or scent marshmallow. Although I heard because these are like vegan, you can, um, I guess, eat them. Let's see what it smells like. Mmm, it smells really good. There it is. This is another product of his that I've wanted to try but just haven't yet. Okay, so next up we have this little guy right here. Um, it says Beautylish on it, and inside, ooh, are three Jeffree Star liquid lips. Let's pull them all out. These don't look like any shades I oops, already have, so that's good. We have Sagittarius, which is like a really light um, purple violet shade, which I think um, with something like this, because I'm a little deeper in skin tone, I would pair that with like a dark purple uh, lip liner. Uh, then we have chrysanth Chrysanthemum, and this looks like to be, I'll swatch these all three in a second, it's got, um, looks more like a gloss, it's got little flakes of gold in it, and then same for this one, which is pumpkin pie, it's kind of an orange with a little bit of flex in it, so let's swatch these three. Are obviously pumpkin pie, chrysanthemum, and then Sagittarius, I like all of these. Very pretty. I'm gonna wear that one. <laughs> Lastly, our very last item. Ooh, the Androgyny palette. I think my wish list, although I was happy to get any of them, was probably blood sugar. Just because I wanted to try some of those reds. But it's like a palette I'd probably never buy just for reds. Here's the inside. Yeah, I like this one. And there is that. I am super happy with this one. Like, I love these colors. These are like colors that I can get down with. So, yay! So, overall, I'm like super excited with everything I got. Um, real quick, I forgot to mention on my Beautylish regular bag, I did choose the skin, skin tone, the skin tone deep dark. Um, I don't really know that that played any effect, although I did see. So I did see a few unboxings of people that specifically said deep dark and I felt like they got things kind of like I did, like an extra skincare or they got eyelashes, almost like Beautylish wasn't quite sure what to do with like the darker skin tone, which is kind of like why I put it on there. I mean, I guess it's good you won't get like the Moonstone Becca highlighter because, you know, we're not going to wear that. But for the most part, I think they kind of put in an extra skincare item versus more makeup, which, eh, you know, that's okay. Another thing I didn't like was that, like I said in the beginning, I already had my bag in my cart I was going to check out. I should get like five minutes, two minutes, something, you know, once it's in there to secure my transaction, obviously make sure I'm going to buy it, and then if not, it's released. Um, for me to have it in there and literally just have to update my shipping address and then have you be like, oh, nope, it's sold out, I think that's kind of BS and not the best way to run your customer service. Now, I do know in the past you had to spend $1,000 to get the extra large lucky bag, and I know last year and the year before that on the extra large bags, everyone got those huge Natasha Denona palettes, so I think because they lifted the thousand dollars and they had where you could sign up to get early notice I think those went so fast because everyone was expecting those kind of palettes and then this year in all the unboxings I've been watching people have been sorely disappointed because it has been a lot of items that were in last year's box um, there's been no like huge Natosha, Natasha Denona palettes it's either just been like the Sunset Lila size or um, the Viseart pros that have like a few more things so I think what's funny is that a lot of people went to get it expecting one thing and then the bags have been a little different this year and I mean I agree <clears throat> excuse me, um, in watching the unboxings, I saw a lot more things, and I'm like, wait, I saw that two years ago or three years ago, um, which is not, to me, how Beautylish normally does it. They don't do this just to clear out their inventory. It's really just supposed to be, like, this kind of bonus thing that they do, and so to still see, like, that Wayne Goss brush, oh my god, I can't talk, brush set from, like, four years ago in boxes this year, you know, um, will I get it again next year? Most definitely, because I liked everything I personally got um, in both of mine. Last year I had a really amazing bag. If you never saw that one, I'll put a link of it up here. Um, and again, it's a mystery bag. 
if you really, really want something, just pony up the money and get it. Like, I had told myself that if I don't get the Lila palette, because I really like it and I've been eyeing it for a while, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. Um, now, I know maybe everybody can't do that, but if you spent $75 on this bag, just put that to the side, save up another, I don't know, 50 bucks, and then purchase it. Um, when I see people doing unboxings and they complain about how they're super picky or, you know, they don't like a certain brand or whatever, like, don't do a mystery box then. Like, that's not what it's for. It's a mystery. It's a surprise. These kind of things are not new. So I get that you're pony up $75 and I get that there's other monthly subscription boxes and things like that that may give you even a better value, but you may not get these high-end items that you really want for that type of price. Like, you know, that Wayne Goss brush, I love it. Would I ever just probably pick it out and buy it? Hell no. <laughs> so, it is what it is. I mean, I'm overall super pleased. The only thing, you know, obviously I had the Jouer um, lipstick, but that's just a chance you take with a mystery bag. I knew out of watching other people's unboxings that there were like five to ten items, five to seven, five to seven items that I saw in people's boxes that I knew were in my collection. So there was a chance I was going to get a repeat. With Jeffree Star, I have some of his stuff, not a ton, um, so I wasn't sure. The only thing, I, you know, like I said, the mirror wasn't my first choice of mirror styles. I didn't even know that was a mirror. Like, I saw someone else unbox it, and I was like, is that even a real, like, I thought they were getting duped. <laughs> um, because I've only seen the star mirrors. So, and that one, you know, I'll probably, I don't know, put it on eBay, Poshmark, Lit Exchange, somewhere. Um... But yeah, so overall, like I said, I am super excited with everything I got. I'm going to try to use it all as quickly as possible because last year I kept putting off like, oh, I'm going to film with the stuff I got. And it was like six months later and I hadn't used any of it. So don't do that. Don't be me. That's my thoughts, feelings um, towards Beautylish and the Lucky Bag and people that are sore losers and cry and you guys can come for me in the comments I don't care it's my opinion you know I just feel like you know if you don't like surprises don't get a mystery bag uh anywho anywho so if you're not already following me on social media I'm on Instagram Twitter and Facebook it's XOXO Rajel spelled just like it is here um make sure you're following me on Instagram I'm trying to do uh, a big huge 8k giveaway um I think I mentioned this before but if not I bought a caboodle I am shoving as much makeup in it as possible there'll probably be overflow in the box um I had hit 8k I was excited but you know people like to come in and like you for like a giveaway and then everyone runs when it's over and they don't stay around and then you drop down 200 followers and you're looking like an ass because you're like yeah we did it um but we didn't so don't follow to unfollow stay following like my shit um leave a comment those are the people that I'm going to notice and remember when it comes time for special little giveaways that I just pick people and I'm like here's some stuff um but I think that's it so leave a comment make sure you thumbs up this video Make sure you come back and by clicking the notification bell. Then you'll know when I upload another one. And until next time, bye bitches!